This year, Bakersfield residents will be deciding on a number of local elections, including a couple seats in the Bakersfield City Council. There are four candidates vying for the Ward 6 seat, a seat that has long been held by Jackie Sullivan. Now, Ward 6 is primarily in southwest Bakersfield, and KernVote.com says about 28,000 people are registered to vote there. The candidates are Patty Gray, who was born and raised in Taft, lived in Bakersfield for 17 years, and owns Dreammaker Bath and Kitchen with her husband. Then there's Titus Stevens, who is from Compton, but has lived in Bakersfield for 14 years. Stevens used to work as a telephone line worker, but injuries sidelined him, and he's now campaigning full time. Then there's Gregory Tatum, who was born in Memphis, Tennessee, and has lived in Bakersfield for 12 years. He's a pastor at Change Community Church. And finally, Jesse Quijada is from San Jose and has lived in Bakersfield for five years. He works as a medical assistant. I spoke with each of those candidates over Zoom, asking them the exact same questions in an attempt to get to know them and their platform. I started off by asking them to explain in one sentence what their platform is. I want to see Bakersfield stay safe. I want to, uh, our citizens to be able to pursue happiness. And without safe streets and law and order, it's very difficult to do so. My platform is the homeless, the veterans, in the crime situation. It's putting Bakersfield on track for a better future by bringing all parties to the table and you know, really looking at the, what we can do to make the city better and try to pull out the partisan gridlock. My platform for my candidacy would be security, uh, economic growth, and uh, safety for everyone in my neighborhood. Uh, my motto is, together, let's keep Bakersfield a great place to live. What qualifies you for the sixth ward? I've been operating uh, with Safe Streets of Bakersfield, which is a collaborative with many community leaders to deter uh, violence in the community, whether it's gang or drugs. So I have been out there, boots on the ground, plus I'm a U.S. veteran that have faced obstacles in the past. My experience with actually living and uh, working in Ward 6, uh, going to the different shops, seeing everybody, um, my courage to stand up, um, my ability to unite people and to uh, and to just bring people together. And I think I'm really uh, a great listener when I talk to people about what their concerns about the ward is. Uh, I worked uh, for a local city councilwoman in the city of San Jose as a policy aide. Uh, I've also worked within the federal government as well uh, for a federal agency as a legislative analyst. Uh, so I've worked with various levels to understand how, what it takes from, you know, to get something at the bottom level of government, such as municipal, all the way to the federal level and what it takes to get it through and pass that really shows the effect of helping a community grow. My qualifications come from my business experience. My husband and I have owned and operated our own business, contracting business since 1983. So it's very important that I, I believe that we have good common sense on the city council and business experience to bring on to the council. Will your term be an extension of Jackie Sullivan's or will you take a new direction? I feel like I think we could keep thing, the status quo the way it is with and add accents. You know what I'm saying? It's like the mill is good, but sometimes you need a little salt here and a little seasoning there. So I feel like we're heading in the, in the same direction. We're heading in a great direction, but I feel like my ideas and I can come in from a different angle and we can add the accents that we need to turn this mill into a feast. It's time that we take things into a new direction. Um, and that's just the era of which we're living in at this moment. We are, we're seeing, you know, time after time things come up that are changing the face of our nation. And Bakersfield, as one of California's largest cities, should be adapting with these times of bringing a new future for the city. Bakersfield has had uh, a great heritage of values that, that uh, believe in God, family, and country. And I could say that she and I are on the same page but we definitely are individuals with different types of personalities and i want to i want to go in the direction that i feel that is going to um, support the other council members and and do the very best that i can for the city of bakersfield it will be uh, an extension in one aspect you know she started a legacy uh, in god we trust which is a great um, legacy that she's left you know i would help her continue that but the new direction I would take is making sure we, we uh, revitalize the Sixth Ward. The direction I would take uh, would be a better, safer environment and helping others to get work and uh, to find shelter.
What would you like to see in the future regarding the community's response to the pandemic? As a healthcare professional, I've seen everything that's happened with COVID firsthand, from testing to getting the results back to needing more testing. Uh, and my campaign has been kind of founded around forming a city health commission to where it's staffed by medical experts from Kern County and, you know, to where we are no, so, no longer so reliant on state, county, and federal resources. We are, we could be self-sufficient and, you know, be, be prepared to respond for future pandemics and continue to assist in COVID response. I would like to see our businesses reopened, our children back in school. Um, I want to have, I want Bakersfield to be a safe place to live and work. But at the same time, as I'm talking to so many people, we're, we're needing to get back to work. People are needing to get back to their life. Making sure we have access to PPE, but making sure that we don't step on individual liberties. Going forward, um, I don't believe in mask mandates because I believe everyone should have the right to kill themselves if they want to. That's what uh, freedom in America is. Uh, definitely, we want to follow what the uh, Surgeon General, he was recently here in Bakersfield, talking about the distancing uh, making sure we wash our hands, making sure we follow all the uh, uh, precautions that we need to so we can quickly get back to work, get back to, to normalcy, but we must adhere to what is required to do that. What is the biggest challenge facing Ward 6 right now? We have had an influx of property crime. Um, we've had an influx of uh, homeless people, and I'm not talking about your regular homeless people that are sleeping in the canals. We got those, but there's a lot of people living in their cars, and it's basically um, from the economic shutdown. You know, you see people in parking lots uh, sleeping in their cars. A lot of people don't pay attention, but I do. Most people are very satisfied with Bakersfield. They're not grumbling. They're not complaining about leadership but they are concerned about security and they are concerned about safety and they don't want our city to go in the same direction that Seattle and Portland and New York and Kenosha, that scares them. A lot of the issues that I'm hearing from members of the community is infrastructure related, roads, parks, you know, it, it's just a, you know, deteriorating progress that's happened over the course of time. And, you know, it's something we all see on a daily basis. I mean, if you drive on a road in Bakersfield in general, I'm pretty sure you're going to hit a bump or two. Um, and, you know, we just need to be using, uh, you know, more money that the state has allocated to us to fix these problems rather than just holding on to it or diverting it for other use. The people of Ward 6 know that this, this area can go back to the, the, the days of of feeling comfortable, feeling safe, people can walk the neighborhood. So the challenge is reassuring them, and that has to happen day one. Where do you stand on the future of the oil and gas industry in California? As many of, of our constituents out there in the city of Bakersfield, particularly Ward 6, depend on these type of jobs to take care of their family, to sustain themselves. So I stand behind them. This community was founded on an oil community. You know, this is how Bakersfield was is thriving and continues to thrive today. Um, over time, though, I do strongly believe that we will have to look at alternatives. It will have to be a slow transition in order to ensure it's a safe and just transition, including making sure that those who are working in the oil fields have opportunities for employment elsewhere. Kern County is an oil town, so of course we're going to fight back against um, them killing millions, uh, tons of jobs that we have for our constituents here in Bakersfield. I am for deregulation. I think we are overregulated in the state and oil and ag are our biggest industries and we have to support oil and ag. If oil and ag leave us, um, then, then Bakersfield will no longer be the city that it is today. So it's very important to, to support and protect our oil and ag industry. How do you feel the community should move forward in light of recent police protests? I'm a non-believer in defunding the police. And I don't believe we're as divided. We're, we're divided, but I think the, there's a lot of hype about the division. I think we're more economically divided, which is turning into racial division, which is being hyped up by the same, um, I'll say the same old band, you know, the Al Sharptons, the Red Jacksons, and the now Ben Crumps. I'm first to say I don't believe in abolishing the police department. I do not believe that we cannot run a city safely without one, but I do think we can strategically reduce funding from our police department that will be able to uh, safely keep our community safe as well as, you know, 
allow us to allocate those str funds strategically elsewhere in the city? I'm very grateful, again, to have a city council, a, a, a police chief, a mayor, that are all very supportive of law enforcement. We're all God's children. We're all important. We all have purpose. We've been designed for purpose. And it's my heart to represent everyone in Ward 6 and to be a good representative for the, Baker, for the city of Bakersfield. I support our local police. I do not support defunding them. Uh, I know that Bakersfield just allocated almost $120 million to the Bakersfield police and also to bring on extra sworn officers. I do uh, support First Amendment, the right to assemble in a peaceful order. I think people that have concerns, yes, they should be able to share these concerns uh, without using violence or without using destruction of property. What else should the community know about you before they cast their vote? Uh, my birthday is on the 25th of September. I'll be 61. I've been married. Uh, it's coming October for 42 years. I have uh, three kids, nine grandkids. Out of the nine grandkids, I have eight boys and one granddaughter. So I'm very concerned about young men, uh, especially young men of color, making sure that they uh, live to be uh, my age. So, you know, you know, I'm a very open-minded person. I'm... Uh... I, I like to say, you know, people think sometimes that you're this heavily progressive minded person, but I say, you know, my best friend, he's a very right wing conservative person. So me and him daily on a daily, we just conversate back and forth and hit each other with with stuff. But, you know, I'm a type of person who's willing to go as far as it takes to get the job done. And that's you ask anyone who knows me. That's how they describe me. I, well, I've been married a long time, 45 years. I, I have raised three sons. Uh, in this community. I'm a woman of faith and I believe strongly in um, a strong America. And I, oh, and the other thing, I have a wonderful father who's going to be turning 100 years old on November 11th. He was a senior lieutenant in World War II in the Pacific and uh, we're going to be celebrating his birthday November 11th. So, I'm very blessed there, and I come from a very st strong um, uh, patriotic background. Um, I think they should know that I'm a hard worker. I think they should know that I've been their neighbor for over 14 years. Um, I think they should know that I'm very approachable, very friendly guy, very energetic. Uh, I love talking to people. I love getting out there and doing it, and I think they should know that I will stand up for whatever they think that I should stand up for. Residents in the 6th Ward can now vote by mail or they can vote at a poll on Tuesday, November 3rd. Be sure to keep up to date with all of our election coverage on our website, turn to 23com and on all of our social platforms. But for now, thanks for watching.